Oh, that's my baby. Don't make me cry. You look so much better when you. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Q. Oh, oh, oh. You look so much better when you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my gosh, good morning, good morning. That was Smile by Kirk Franklin Brighter Day. Oh my gosh, you look so much better when you smile. You look so much better when you smile. I always um, say to myself, what does complaining or frowning do? It just adds more worry and weariness to this day. Good morning, welcome to Coffee and Conversations with Lakeisha. This is your girl, LMJ in the house this morning excited about what god is going to do for us today standing steadfast in his promises and i refuse to be moved by absolutely anything hey lord well we're gonna i'm gonna lift i got some people we need to lift up real quick i believe in the power of prayer i believe in god i see lori wolf on here hey my love uh, I see Kim Lee popped on this morning. Two of my sisters this just have had some things going on with them. And I want y'all to stand in the gap with me for them in just a minute. I'm trying not to get, um, oh, I take stuff personal <laughs> when my sisters and my brothers are suffering or when my sisters and brothers are, have gone through things. I take things personal. It's not just them going through something. It's me going through something as well, it's me going through something as well. And so I take that really, 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 really personal. So we're going to lift up my sisters in prayer today. But I want to give you an encouragement. And then I want to ask you a question for today. Here's here's the scripture. I'm going to I want to read this Psalms to you. It's Psalms 98. It says, sing a new, and the Lord had just this had just fell in my spirit before we started. It says, sing a new song to the Lord, for he has done wonderful deeds, has his right hand has won a mighty victory. His holy arm has shown his saving power. The Lord has announced his victory and has revealed his righteousness to every nation. He has remembered his promise to love and be faithful to Israel. And what I did when I was reading this, I put my name in there. I said, he has remembered his promise to love and be faithful to Lakeisha. The ends of the earth have, been, have seen the victory of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth. Break out in praise and sing for joy. Sing your praise to the Lord with a harp, with a harp and melody this song, with trumpets and the sound of the rain's horn. Make a joyful symphony before the Lord, the King. Let the sea and everything in it shout his praise. Let the earth and all living things join in. Let the rivers clap their hands in glee. Let the hills sing out their songs of joy before the Lord. For the Lord is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with justice and the nations with fairness. So this morning, I just want to encourage you, sing a new song, sing a song. I don't care how difficult your situation is. Just sing a song to the Lord. This morning I was singing in my, in my bathroom. Oh, how I love Jesus. I'm talking about just, oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus because he first love me. That's all I was singing this morning. Oh, how I love Jesus. Yeah. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus because he first loved me. So sing a new song. I just want to encourage you to get a song in your heart and sing a new song to him. Sing a new song to him. Just sing to him this morning. Let me do a couple of announcements this morning. First of all, don't forget to follow me on social media everywhere. That's at just being Ellen J. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Also, Coffee and Conversations with Lakeisha. Thank y'all for subscribing to the to the YouTube channel. Those numbers are getting up. We're getting there. Remember, I only need a thousand. I need just a little bit of thousand and I can go back live on YouTube. So thank y'all for subscribing to the YouTube channel. It means absolutely everything. And guess what today is? Today is Tuesday. So since today is Tuesday, we get to teach ladies Bible study. I have the online session at 12 noon. Just join the group Coffee and Conversations with Lakeisha and 
we, you can get the code because we do that via Zoom and join us at 12 noon Central Standard Time for the Bible study. And then tonight at 6 p.m. at Guillermo's Coffee Shop, the ladies will be in the place. Fellas, we're going to have some for you soon, I promise. But the ladies will be in the place. Don't matter if you don't have a book. Don't matter if you don't be, haven't been there. Get there. Get there. Get there. This morning is the morning of the press. Today is the day of the press. I could feel people needing to press. So don't let the enemy talk you out of not being attached to the Bible study today. Press, press in, press hard. And anytime we press, I have seen the hand of God. I've seen God move and do major things. And then pillow talk, ladies. We got but a little bit of registration time left. Here's the key. Even if you don't have a mom, you can still come to this event and we'll have a painting for you to do. This event is just always therapy, comes with food. We give you techniques. Um, you're going to come, you're going to get paints and all your supplies. Teresa Cates is on the scene. So definitely get connected. You can register Eventbrite if you need to pay through PayPal or you need to pay through a uh, cash app. Just send us an email at info at just being LMJ dot com um and so don't don't miss this opportunity though so that's it for today those are announcements for today oh hold on before we pray do me a favor share this video right now go ahead pass it on put it in someone's inbox drop it on someone's page let someone get connected to the power of god and what we're about to do right now in jesus name let me do a few shout outs this morning hey y'all hey hey john elmore hey Teresa skinner let's what's up olive hey hey stacy hey love hey Teresa. i see y'all coming in hey jillian thank you all oh, jillian thank you for sharing the video when y'all share the video that is a big deal to me so jillian this morning shout out to you big shout out to you thank you for sharing the video and putting that video in someone else's hands who else do we have on here? What's up, Kim Lee? Yes, yes, Lord. Hey, Sherry Miles. I see y'all in this place this morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning to y'all. Now, you know what? It's time for us to pray. Prayer is so powerful. Prayer changes a thing. Prayer shifts a thing. Prayer moves a thing. Man, I just know how prayer works. So we're going to stand in the gap. And I need you guys to lift up my friend, Lori Wolf. I don't have to tell you all her circumstance. And I need you to lift up my friend, Kim Lee, right now. We need to see, the, I need to see the power of God move in both their lives. Kim needs a right now situation occurring. My friend, Michelle Mothershed, her mother needs a right now situation occurring. I am tired of the encroachment of the enemy. I'm sick of him. I'm, I'm no longer going to accept that this is life or this is what's supposed to happen. The more that I study the blessing, the more I understand the power and authority that's been given to me here on earth. And so I need you to lift them up. I need you to call their name out. I need you to put their name before their Lord. I need you to lay them at the feet of Jesus so that we can see the power of God raised be raised up in their life and they can feel God. They need to feel God. They need to see God and we need God to move. So I need y'all to extend your faith to date for both of these, for these women that I've said, Michelle, Michelle, uh, mother said her mother, Kim Lee, <laughs> Lori Wolf. I'm telling you my, also my friend, Alex Geiger in the transition of his grandmother. I just have had a whole lot of people having things going around and I need you to lift them up right now in the name of Jesus. So Father God, we thank you, my God. We thank you, my God. <laughs> my God, my God, my God, my God. I am is on the scene. Come on, Holy Ghost. I am is on the scene. I am is on the scene. We bless your name. We bless your name. I am is on the scene. We thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost. We thank you, Father God, for protection. We thank you, Father God, for provision. We thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning. We thank you for giving us the activities of our limbs. We thank you, Father God, for our brand new song. We sing a brand new song to you today, Lord God. We thank you and rejoice in you, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, for keeping, for keeping us from dangers unseen. We thank you, Father God, for your presence precious presence in our life, Father God. We lift up to you this morning, Kim Lee, Father God. We know, Father God, you have authority over everything. So we curse this thing at its root and we command it to break loose and set her free right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you. The angels are going before her to the hospital, ministering to her, lifting her up, 
giving the doctors the strategies that they need, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, where her faith is weak. We stand in faith for her. You are a just God. You are a sovereign God. We thank you, Lord God, for moving on her behalf. We thank you for comforting Lori, Lord God. We lift her up to you this morning, Lord God. We know, Father God, you are the keeper of all. So, Lord God, we just ask that you keep her this morning. Give her her strength. Give her daughter strength. Give her girl strength, Lord God. Give her get, give her what she needs. Let her feel your love. Let her be filled with your presence. Now, Lord God, we send the angels to the hospital where Lucille Mothershed is right now. We cancel the assignment of the enemy off her life. We bind those clots back to the gates of hell from which they came. We thank you, Lord God, that a miracle is occurring and setting her free right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost. We thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost. We thank you for keeping her from danger, seen and unseen, Lord God. We bind the spirit of infection back to the gates of hell from which it came. We loose the captive and set them free right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, for your glory going forth. We thank you, Father God, for the miracles, the signs, the wonders, the marvels. Father God, you said where two or more gather in your name, that you are in the midst, Lord God. So we stand right now, gathered in your name, watching you move in every circumstance, in every situation, comforting, loving, lifting, healing, Father God, and providing, Father God. We thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost. We thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost. We thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost. We thank you for for divine intervention, Lord God. We thank you that this is just all a setup for your victory, Father God. You said, according to Hebrews 1.14, that the angels were sent here to serve us. So we thank you that the ministering angels are going before them right now. Father God, you told us in Mark that if we speak to the mountain and cast it in the sea, that it be removed right now. So we speak to doubt. We speak to worry. We speak to grief. We speak to sickness. We speak to disease. We speak, Father God, right now in the name of Jesus and command you to be casted in the sea, to be removed from our life. We speak to fear. We speak, Father God, right Right now, in every blood-borne disease, every disease that's been born in the blood, we curse you at your root right now in the name of Jesus and command you to dry up that sickle cell that's cancer, anything in the blood. We curse you right now and command you to dry up, command you to dry Jesus was already bruised for our iniquities. He was already chastised for our peace. And by his strength, we were already healed. So we take the healing. We take the manifestation. We take on our healing package and we receive it by faith. Now, Lord God, we thank you for your word today. We thank you for the devotional today. We thank you for the power that comes on high, the ability to lay hands on the sick, to trample on demons. Father God, we thank you, Father God, trample on scorpions, cast out demons. We thank you for the power. We thank you for miracle signs and wonders, my God. Miracle signs and wonders coming to unexplainable things happening to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. My God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Told y'all I ain't got no time no more. I'm done. I don't have no time no more. I'm not letting no, nothing else sit around me. I'm not letting nothing else dwell. I'm not letting no sleeping dogs lie. I'm not going to let the enemy just come in and tell me allergies are okay and tell me all kinds of manners. Say, I know what the blessing says. I know what the blessing says. I know that the blessing goes before me. I know that angels go before me. I know that heaven and earth is open. I'm not letting, I'm not letting nothing else lie at my feet. I'm not letting us, nothing else happen to anybody else around me and that it's acceptable. Or this is what the Lord said. I'm not, I'm not letting it go down. I don't have the patience for it anymore. I don't have the patience for the enemy anymore. I don't have time for his mess. I don't have time for his junk. I don't have time for his lack. I don't have time for his doubt. I don't have time for his fear. I don't have time for his worry. I don't, I don't have time for it anymore. I'm just not going to let it happen no more. I'm just not going to stand steadfast. I'm not just going to be like, it's okay. It's not cool. No, it's not okay. You get your hands off my friends. You get your hands off their life. You don't have authority in their life. God gave me authority in Jesus' name. And as long as we call on the name of Jesus, my God, as long as we call on the name of Jesus, as long as we call on, as long as we still believe in the power of the blood, God can move in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. My God, you, my God, my God, no, 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 no more mind battles. No more struggling. No more wondering if whether or not God is going to bless me or 
God intended to keep me and all that. No, he said that already. He promised me in my word. He already told me this was who I am and whose I am. And I'm not going to believe anything less than that. That's been the lie he's been telling me way too long. And so guess what? I'm not settled. I'm not settled anymore. I'm not settled. I want to read this to you. This is Ephesians 1 and 3. And this is what settled it for me yesterday. This is what settled it for me yesterday. What's going on on my Facebook? Hmm. We got a glitch. Come on, Facebook. Mm -mm. The enemy is not going to play games and just stop my whole Facebook broadcast. I thank you, Father God, for returning to Facebook broadcast in the name of Jesus. So Ephesians 1 and 3, it says, all praise to God, the Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ right? We are united with Christ. Even before he made the world, God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault. In Jesus name, amen. In Jesus. Okay. You see me fine. So I can't see myself. As long as you can see me, Lord, that's perfect. That's fine. As long as you, okay, good. We'll keep rolling. I can't see me, but you can see me and that's all that matters. So good. So Ephesians 1 and 3, all praises to God, the father, father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us. Because we are, because with every spiritual blessing and spirit, because we are united with Christ, even before he made the world, God love us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes. That has to be your reserve. That has to be your reserve. Every spiritual blessing. This is what God endowed on me. This is what God said about me from the beginning of the earth. You're blessed with every spiritual blessing. Can you really think about what that means? That means every promise that God said, every, when we've been talking, we've been sitting here talking about the blessing. Everything that God set in place for Abraham is already set in place for you. So you don't have to receive anything less than what's talked about where the blessing is concerned. That, that's it. That's all you can do. The blessing is your only concern. So if it's health in the blessing, and we're going to talk about exactly what's in the blessing, then you, one of the key things that I was reading in the blessing was there was no barrenness. So if there is a woman, right, who has not had a baby and desires to have a baby, then she got to go back to the scripture and say, absolutely not. The blessing declared that I have no barrenness. If he said you were going to be blessed in the city and blessed in the field, right? Then everywhere you go has to be blessed. Why? Because Ephesians 1 and 3 establishes the fact that we have already been giving every spiritual blessing through Christ Jesus. That means talents, contentment, favor, peace, compassion, abundance. You're blessed already with all of those things. <laughs> You're blessed with all, and what usually happens is because we don't understand that we're blessed with all of those things, we'll live in our less than state. And the Lord is like, no, I've got more for you than what you're seeing and what man is manifesting in your life today. So you have to understand that that's Ephesians 1 and 3. It was already done when Christ went to the cross. So I'm going to ask you a couple, <laughs> couple of things and I'm going to start reading the blessing. We talked about sowing and reaping. And what I've learned is people will sow and then stop once the harvest comes in. You got to keep sowing. And the reason that you got to keep sowing is, is because you're going to live off the top. See, drops to the bottom and it pushes up the harvest out the top. So do not stop sowing just because you saw a little bit of harvest or you think it's not manifesting. It's manifesting. It's manifesting. So let's start today in reading Deuteronomy 28 and see what these blessings are. So it says, if you fully obey the Lord, your God, and carefully follow all his commands, I give you today, the Lord your God will set you high above the nations on earth. All these blessings will come on you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. One, you will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. You will be blessed. This means everywhere you go, you should be expecting and anticipating that I'm going to be blessed. Every business that you're attached to, 
every 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 venture that you're a part of, you should be seeing yourself as blessed or in the blessing. I expect favor wherever I go. I expect favor wherever I go. I expect God to manifest itself wherever I am. If I'm, I don't care if I'm at the hospital. I don't care if I'm at the dentist. I don't care if I'm just walking into the grocery store. I expect to be blessed wherever I'm go because that's what the word said. I'm going to be blessed in the city. I'm going to be blessed in the country. I'm going to be blessed wherever my geographic location. As a matter of fact, Joshua 1 and 3 says, I, <laughs> I love God. Joshua 1 and 3 talks about the details of these blessings and what that looks like, right? Everything attached to me is going to be blessed and be blessed in a whole different state. Blessed more than I can imagine. Um, blessed beyond anything. Joshua 1 and 3 says, I will give you every place where you set your foot as I promised Moses. Everywhere you set your foot is supposed to be blessed. So you got to go into every situation, even at your job, where it seems like it's the most unlikely situation and declare a blessing. I declare a blessing over my house every day. Bless your job. Bless the hospital. Wherever you're at, go and declare a blessing. Why? Because the blessing is so real. The blessing is so real. This is what Ephesians 1 and 3 was telling us. This is what's on our life. This is what's on our life. So if you got your hands in a business, you should be expecting wherever your business is to prosper. The, the, the second part of the blessing, the fruit of your womb will be blessed and the crops of your land and the young of your livestock, the cows of your herds and the lambs of your flock. So I want to tell you something, and I believe in this. When it says the fruit of your womb will be blessed. I mean that even for your children that have already been born, <laughs> even for your children that have already been born. When my kids aren't acting right, this is what I say. Absolutely not. The word already said the fruit of my womb will be blessed. And so when my kids are acting less than the blessing, I remind the, I, I speak to the spirit realm and I say, absolutely not. The Lord said the fruit of my womb will be blessed. All my sons are going to walk in their call. All my sons are going to take their position. All my sons are going to fulfill their kingdom right. All my sons are going to walk in their purpose because the Lord already told me that the fruit of my womb will be blessed. I don't spend a lot of time looking at what they don't look like or what's not happening or what they're not acting like. I'm going to call them blessed. I'm not going to call them what they're acting like. Why? Because the Lord already told me the fruit of my womb is going to be blessed. The crops of my land. That means everything I put my hand to. You can't sow into a business. You can't go work. Everything I put my hands to shall be blessed. Everything around me should be multiplying and increasing if I'm operating in kingdom principles. That's why a few weeks ago we dealt with tithing. We dealt with sowing seed. We dealt with having strife. We dealt with having unforgiveness because those are the things that keep the blessing from happening. So now if we know we're in order, kingdom order, we should be seeing this manifest in our life. Your basket and your kneading trough will be blessed. Can you say, yo, your cabinets should be blessed. If your cabinets look like a less than blessed state, you better start speaking to your cabinets. You better start decreeing your cabinets to be full. You better start... I don't worry about gas. I don't. Somebody was somebody asked me, like, you got gas in your car? I was like, yeah, I don't worry about gas. I get in my car and I tell the Lord, you know where I got to go and where I got to do. You got to fill this up. I speak to my cabinet to be full and overflowing. You know, I like to feed folks. I'm not going to sit around and worry over things that I know God has control over. He said unto us in Matthew, he said, why are you worrying? <laughs> why are you worrying? Why are you sitting around worrying? He said, and why, why are you worried about Matthew 28? We're in the 6 and 28. It says, and why worry about your clothing? Look at the lilies of the field and how they grow. Don't They don't work or make their clothing. Yet Solomon in all his glory was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for wildfires, flowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, he will say, certainly care for you. So why do you have so little faith? So don't worry about these things saying, what will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers, but your heavenly father already knows all your needs. <laughs> Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously. And he will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will bring its own worry. Today's troubles are enough. So you should expect your needing and your trough to be blessed. Remember, because we've already talked about this is for somebody else. This is for somebody else. This is for somebody else. Worry does not add a single thing 
to your life. The next one is you will be blessed when you come in, my God, and blessed when you come out. Blessed when you come in, blessed when you come out. That means everywhere you go. Think about it. If he told Joshua 1 and 3, everywhere your feet, before I leave the house in the morning, I anoint my hair with oil, I anoint my hands, I pray over my kids, and then I touch my feet, and I pray over my feet, and I declare everywhere my feet go is going to be blessed. Everywhere my feet go is going to be blessed because he already told me I'm blessed when I come in and I'm blessed when I go out. I expect my house. I speak over my house. I expect my house to return the same. When I return, you're going to be like you were or better. I'm not at work worrying if somebody going to break in. I'm not at work worrying if a fire is going to come. I'm not at home worrying about my house. Why? Because I expect my house. If I'm going to be blessed when I come and when I go, my house going to be in a blessed state even when I'm not there. <laughs> my house going to be in a blessed state. Even when I'm not there, I expect blessings wherever I go. And since I've been living in this state, I've been seeing it manifest. You will manifest if you will not be double-minded. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. <laughs> now, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Then it says, the Lord will grant you. I'm going to give you this last one today and we'll continue tomorrow. It says, the Lord will grant that that the enemies who rise up against you, my God. Can I tell you something? That's, that includes Satan. That the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. They will come at you from one direction, but flee from you for seven. I told y'all, read Psalms 91 over your life every day. Settle in your heart that the enemy, that God is, part of the blessing is God dealing with my enemies. <laughs> part of the blessing is God dealing with my enemies. Part of the blessing is God saying, absolutely not. You're not going to have her life. You're not going to have her health. You're not going to have her mind. You're not going to have her finances. You're not going to have her credit. You're not going to have her hope. You're not going to have your her future. That is part of what comes with the blessing. I expect God to do good to me. I expect it to manifest. I'm looking at it differently now. I'm taking the word. I'm taking the word and changing my mindset about what God says to me. Because this is what he said. He said, the Lord said, well, I will grant I will grant that the enemies who rise up against you. So if something is rising up in your body, that's against you. That's against you. If something is rising up in your faith, that's against you. If a person is a rise up against you, he said, they're going to be defeated before you. So, Lord, you're going to deal with my enemy and let them be defeated. He who dwells, she who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my fortress. He, I, my God, whom I trust. So, God, I'm going to put my trust in you. I'm going to put my trust in you because I know without a doubt you have me. I know without a doubt you have me. That's all the enemy has been trying to do to get you to not believe, to get you to not trust, to get you to not say, to get you to not move, to get you to focus on the circumstance or situation because he doesn't want you to remember how blessed you are. Let's do our Bill Winston. We out of time almost. Let's do our Bill Winston confession for today. Confession establishes a thing. We posted this on the wall. We've been sending this out in email every day. Can I tell you something? Sometimes even when I don't feel like it, I set my mouth to confess anyway, because what I've learned is my faith will take over my fear. That's a word for somebody today. My faith will take over my fear, even if it don't act like it lines up. If I set my mouth to confess God's word, my faith will eventually take over my fear because it was designed to be like that in the spirit world. My faith will take over my fear. My faith is going to take it over eventually. So I set my mouth to confess. So let's do our Bill Winston confession. I decree from this moment forward that I see myself the way God sees me. I'm highly favored of the Lord. I'm crowned with glory and honor. I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I'm reigning as a king in life through the one man, Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Now, in Jesus' name, I decree by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment and supernatural increase. I'm restored. I have petitions granted, laws, policies, and rules changed, and battles won, which I do not have to fight. Why? All because of favor. The blessing and favor of God is on my life. In Jesus' name, every morning when I arise, I will speak and expect divine favor to go before me, that it surround me as a shield with goodwill and pleasures forevermore. The doors are now open for me that men have said 
are not possible to open. No obstacle can stop me and no hindrance can delay me in Jesus name. I'm honored by my father as I receive genuine favor that comes directly from God. I am special to him. I'm the object of his affection. I'm the apple of his eye. I am blessed and highly favor of the Lord. In Jesus name, amen. That's part of the blessing. That's part of the blessing. Y'all do me a favor. Go subscribe to the devotional, thekeishamjohnson.com. Consider being a monthly partner with us in the ministry. You can also do that on the website and go get my book. The launch is here. 10 day devotional short book, empower you, encourage you so that you can believe in yourself and fulfill your purpose and your mission and your vision here on earth. You can purchase it on the website. It's also available on Amazon. Kindle for those of you who like a digital read and do me a favor, go be loved today. <laughs> it don't matter. You need to go be loved. Let somebody experience the love of God in you today. Why? Man, it's kingdom, baby. <laughs> Cause it's kingdom, baby. It's kingdom, baby. I love y'all so much. I'm so grateful for y'all. Stay encouraged. I canceled the assignment of the enemy off your life. That's been destroying your courageousness. And I just speak courage to you today. Be bold, be sober, be vigilant. May the spirit of the Lord rise up in you so that you can take everything around you by force. In Jesus name, amen. I'll see y'all back here in the morning at 5 a.m.